hey guys what's up so today i'm gonna do a video on what i use on my hair and how i make it grow and also what i use to straighten it so it looks nice silky and healthy but i'm gonna tell you guys something i had weight loss surgery in 2015 i knew that when i had that surgery that my hair was gonna fall out it completely fell all out. I had to grow it in again. And then a year later, um, I got pregnant. So not even a year later, like maybe like a year and eight months. I got pregnant again. Well, with my third, it wasn't planned. And then, how can I say this? It grew real, real good. I cut it. It grew very nice. Then after I gave birth, it fell out again. So I had to wait till it grew in. My hair was up to here when I first cut it pregnant. And as of right now, it's very long. I'm in certain pictures right here. So you can see a before and after. And yeah, I'm just going to explain to you guys what I use. And I also had a lot of acne problems. And it's pretty gone. I could also do another video about that too. So yeah guys, stay tuned. So yeah guys, I'm back. So I'm going to show you guys what I use for my hair when I wash it. Well, I don't know if you guys might find this in any products, like any hair places. I go to, um, well I get it in Dwayne Reed and when I go to Walmart. But this is what I use. This is the best. The ship makes my hair feel so amazing. And it also helps for hair growth. And for conditioner, I use this. See it guys? This is amazing. This makes my hair so soft. So basically, I use this. I wash it twice. Because I like to have, I like to feel like when I'm washing my hair that I feel like the squeakiness of clean like you hear it in your hair I don't know if you understand what I'm saying and then after I do that I rinse it real real good and I take not even like a handful because it's like so thick I take like a little scoop enough for my hair because my hair is long well if you have short hair it's easier so my hair is long so I take a little scoop put it in my hair a little bit of water massage it Leave it in for five minutes. I leave it in for five minutes. Walk around the house. Do what I gotta do. Because, you know, the baby don't give me time to do anything. Then after that, I take it out. Yo, I'm telling you. This leaves my hair so freaking soft. Um, then after, I wash it and rinse it out. I take my towel. Wrap it up. Dry it real good. And this is the best thing. I've used this since 2015. But all my hair growth treatment, I get it from like DR. When my grandmother goes to DR, I'm like, she'll be like, oh, what do you need? And I'm like, um, my hair's falling out. I need something for my hair. So she brought me this product. Hold on a second. Let's see if you guys can see it. Do you guys see it? This product is so good. This is so amazing. It feels like it comes with a little drop. See it? It's very good. <laughs> when I tell you, I had so much hair loss after the baby. Like, it didn't even kick in right away. It was like three months maybe. And, yo, my, I wanted to cry. I was so fucking depressed. It was like three months in. 
my hair was so long, so silky. I was taking pictures of my hair because I was loving how my hair was after pregnancy. And I'm like, yo. I'm like, why, why I look like I'm balding in the front? All this was gone. Like, you can see these little hairs. This is from when, like, it fell out. It's a little longer now. That's the only baby hairs I have, like, right here. My hair was, like, I would take a shower and I would have, like, packs of hair. And I'm like, yo, oh my god. It was bad. It was very fucking bad. So, anyways. So, after I washed my hair, I put, I could say, like, I open this and I squeeze it really, really hard because I don't have a lot left. I've been having this for two years. Fill it up like this much. And I put drops everywhere on my head. I start from here, here. It spreads out because it's like water. So what I do is I put drops everywhere on my hair and go like this. All over my head. And it feels like, um, hmm. It feels like dandruff shampoo. Really, it feels like when you put head and shoulders and you feel like a minty feeling in your hair, it feels so good. So what I do is, I don't use blower to dry my hair. I let that air dry. Usually I scrunch it up, curly, but I only do that when I'm gonna straighten my hair. I mean, excuse me, when I'm gonna leave it curly. So when I wanna straighten it, I put stuff in my hair and then I do this. I leave it. So when it dries, it's straight. Because when I straighten it and I have a curly, I'll be the forever straightening my hair. I have so much hair, it's crazy. But anyways, after I do the drops, I let it air dry. And then, I'm lying. I don't, I let it air dry. But before I let it air dry, I put this on my hair wet. This is amazing. I found this in Zwayne Reen. This is very good. I put this, it's um, daily oil moisturizer. It helps from prevent breakage, tangles, and frizz, softens strands, adds shine. So I put this in my hair, and it says it's good for like um, damaged hair. And it prevents it from harsh weathers and heat styling. So it's good like if you straighten it. I haven't really straightened my hair because I went through hell trying to get this hair to get better because my hair was crazy after it fell out. So I used this, then I let it air dry, and then I straighten it. As of right now, I am going to straighten it, but I'm waiting for it to completely air dry because the back is still wet, and you see how it's puffy. But once I straighten it, it's going to look nice. So anyways, guys, this is what I use to straighten my hair, and I'll get back to you guys later when I straighten it and show you how it looks. And I'll also show you how long it is too. I'm going to leave the stuff that I use down in the description. And I'm going to put maybe like in parentheses like a couple places you can find them. Um, I know the drops you could definitely find them on Amazon. You're not going to find them in the store. You can find them on Amazon and I think it's like maybe like $26, $23 around there. But um, I'm also going to show you guys what I use for my hair. I have like so many flatten irons, it's crazy. But this is what I use for my hair. This one is the Infinity Pro. Let me see if the camera grabs it. The Infinity Pro Con Air. I had this since, I had a green one before. But I've used that one so much that it had, um, hold on guys, cause the camera's like falling. So I had the green one. And I've used that one for so long. And I needed to get a new one. So for Christmas, my sister had got me this. So this one's like the second best of this, the green one. The green one, I really find it. So this is really, really good. Um, it doesn't go up my temperature. It goes from, I think, 15 to 20. I don't know if you can see it. And the camera grabs it. No, it's like, it goes from 15 to 20. 15 to 30, sorry. 15 to 30. It gets really hot. I try to keep it on low because I'm not trying to burn my hair. I'm not trying to have fried hair, fried tips. Because then I'll be all over again cutting hair, trying to fix it and all that. So that's one of the straighteners I use. But lately I've been using this straightener the best. I don't know, for some reason, I love this one. 
I use the Remington one. This one goes by temperature. Um, I think, I think the highest this goes is 400. This one actually, this one actually shows the temperature. So I'm gonna turn on. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's 380. Is it 380? Yeah. Yeah, the highest it goes is 380. The lowest it goes is 300. So this goes up to 380. I never pass three. Sometimes I do. Like if I need to like pull on it and stuff. But I try not to strain my hair too much because that's damaging. I usually go to the salon. Go to the Dominican spots to get my hair done. Ooh, the camera is falling everywhere. So yeah, those are the two irons I use. I'm going to put in the description the name of the irons if you guys are interested in getting it. Um, they're not expensive. Um, I don't know how much the purple one is, but most likely you could Google it and find a Walmart because I've seen it in Walmart. It shouldn't be no more than $30. The other one should be around the same range. But yeah, guys, I'm going to straighten my hair. I'm going to show you a couple clips of me straightening my hair so you can see how I do it and how I part my hair. I'll be right back. So yeah guys, so I had to get my tripod because I was using this to stand it on the sink, but I do not want that camera to fall. <laughs> so I got the tripod and um, yeah, I'm going to start on my hair. I'm going to show you guys what I do. I'm definitely using this iron. This is the best one. I feel like this is the iron that does not pull my hair because it's like you want to strain your hair and you don't want to feel like the strands are getting pulled. Because it's not, it's like, why are you straining your hair? Your fucking half of your hair is coming out. So yeah, I'm going to use this. Um, as of right now, it's heating up. It's on 320. So um, I'm going to use that. Um, I'm going to show you guys how I part my hair. I really don't part it so much. Like how people like, oh, straight line and all that. No, I use my nails and I part in it. Part in it. Um, yeah, this is what I basically do. I start from here and I part in it. See that? Still a little wet, but we'll be all right. I'm gonna put a big scrunchy part right here and then I just straighten it. So, yeah, guys, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show you guys how I straighten it. So I'll be right back. So yeah guys, this is what I got so far. Yeah, I'm a little slow. I like to take my time with my hair. And look how silky it is, look. Look at that. Look at the flow. But yeah, I'll be right back. Yeah, guys so as you can see we haven't done much videos because my husband works all day and then he comes home he's tired I'm already cooking cleaning getting the kids ready for bed because he gets home sometimes a little late sometimes a little early it all depends on what time it is so sometimes when he gets home he's tired he don't want to do videos so today I decided to fight my fears and make a video so I was like let me do a video about hair because people be asking me how I grow out my hair how I maintain my hair that it doesn't get damaged so those are the well those are one of the techniques I use to do my hair and to maintain it look to look this healthy and you know silky doesn't look so oily some people like Strain the hair and they put so much baby oil, so much hair lotion. It, it be looking like it can't even move. Let's put it this way. 
my hair you could do this and it moves it's not stiff I'm gonna use a lot of oil I told you I'm gonna use that when my hair is wet and then when I straighten it it's already silky so I don't have to put too much stuff on it but yeah guys um comment down below what ideas you want me to do like solo me like girl stuff and shit but let me know what ideas you guys have for me to do f with i'm not a big expert on makeup my sister's the one that's really teaching me right now so i'm still kind of eh, with the makeup but hair stuff start to make your hair grow um anything to do with my surgery i'm trying to still lose 25 pounds i mean i got a lot of time in my hands when the kids are home but Sometimes it's like hectic. I can't even like concentrate. So I am so ready for them to go back to school. <laughs> but um, yeah, they should be going to school on Monday. So I should be all right. But yeah. Um, yeah, just give us some videos of what to do. Which I, we're kind of tired of board games. So I don't know what else to do on this YouTube channel. Um, we did hit a thousand subscribers. Which is amazing i didn't think we would get there a year later but we did it um give us ideas on what to do i mean i'll probably put polls on my um instagram and see who likes what like i'll put ideas and i'll put the polls to see like if i get a lot of votes on it then i'll be like all right let me try that video but some people be afraid to put you know yes or no because they think that i'm gonna be like oh you know like why didn't you put no or yes and i don't really care just you know be honest i mean why is everybody so afraid to be honest on my instagram just put no or yes i just need an opinion but yeah guys that was all this is my hair i mean you guys could try it i don't know how everybody's hair is everybody has different texture of hair but this is what works for me um in the description i am gonna put everything i use and yeah you have any questions or you want me to answer something or anything 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 just dm me message me on youtube you know you can message now which is a new thing so yeah i'll see you later guys i hope you like this video bye